What's going on guys, this is Seha Man back with another figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, NECA figure and uh, this is quite a big NECA figure today we're going to be taking a look at the 1 4th scale NECA Captain America so apparently uh, NECA got the license to do the Avengers um, figures and uh, first one up is the man himself Captain America uh, played by Chris Evans. This is based off of the Avengers movie. It's not off of um, Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, so this is the first one that we're going to be getting by NECA. I think uh, followed by Iron Man, which I'm really excited for because he's got the LED lights and stuff. And um, uh, rumor has it we're getting like a Hulk and a Thor. So I really do. I really do hope NECA NECA um, gives us some more uh, of these uh, one fourth scale figures. Um, and here's a picture of the box. You know, for the longest time. <laughs> Until recently, I didn't realize the the size of this. I, I for some reason I was confusing this with the uh, one six uh, scale, but this is one four scale. So I was expecting this to be twelve inches, but it's actually eighteen inches. Um, uh, apparently, this is a limited figure. I uh, got this at Frank and Sons for seventy, and the lady that was selling these is already running out. Um, she was already pretty much almost uh, close to being gone. You know, sold out of these figures, but I'm pretty sure she'll get more. The packaging is nice. If you're a mint on card collector, just keeping it in the packaging, uh, the the figure will look really cool. In the box itself, uh, we turn this around. We just got a little bit of a, you know, looks like it's part of his outfit here. You can, if you're looking in the back, I mean, the, the box uh, says here the Captain America it says physical augmentation from the Super Soldier Serum allowed Steve Rogers to be. Preserved in Arctic ice for decades, revived and reintroduced into 21st century society, the legendary Captain America longs for a simpler times and meaning he once found in fighting a cause. Outfitted with a sleek new uniform by S.H.I.E.L.D. and uh, um, and wielding his trustworthy vibranium shield once more, Captain America, Captain America's no nonsense attitude and old fashioned optimism make him an ideal candidate to lead Nick Fury's ultimate crisis response team, the Avengers. And this is these are the uh the names of the people that created um this figure. Really cool. Uh the top of the box just, you know, just reads Captain America. But it's pretty cool. This is a big figure, you guys. So if you guys have the space for this, uh I recommend, you know, I do recommend you guys get it. Even if you if you're a Captain America fan, I I recommend you guys get it. Um it just looks like a it just looks like a really cool figure. I don't really collect this this size figures, um but I have this one and I have a, a couple of the NECA Predators. Let's go ahead and take a quick break and we're going to take Captain America outside the box and we'll take a closer look at so it. So here we have Captain America. We're doing a full on 360 on this figure. This is a pretty nice this is a pretty nicely done figure. It's nicely sculpted. Um, he's gigantic, but he is just a very, very, very nice figure. Uh, there's a look at the shield. We'll take a close look at that. He does come with some interchangeable hands. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. Um, but this is just beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautifully sculpted. The paint is good. Articulation's pretty good. Uh, the shield is nice, like I said, but this is just a fantastic looking figure. Chris Evans. Kind of looks like them a little bit. Let's get a closer look at the uh, uh, some of the accessories. All right, so with Cap, you do get um, a total of four hands. The ones I have right here, he does have like an open hand. So if you know if you want to do uh, like a throwing um, a throwing pose or whatever, but it's it's pretty nicely detailed. They peg in very very easy. So you don't have to worry about that. The peg's pretty thick as well, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. But the arms pop off and they pop in pretty easy. Uh, the detail on this is very nice. I mean, you can see that the 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 gloves are kind of dirty, and um, the, you can see the stitching and the work on the gloves. That's pretty cool. So he's got an open hand one. Uh, we got the closed fist one again. You can see it's very nicely detailed. Uh, this is all sculpted. Very very cool. So those are the two hands he comes with, and then he the one that he uh, I have. He has, let me pop the other one off. The one that he's um, actually, that I have him posed in here is this one here, which I guess you can you can say somewhat holds the shield. But this is the one I'm going to have him posed in. And then he has another closed fist. Uh, now looking at the shield, the shield is done pretty nice. Oh, there goes my background. The, the shield is, is done pretty nice. Um, it's like a, like a plastic material. 
pretty cool. Um, doesn't look like it's bendable or anything or can break, but it's pretty nice. Uh, doesn't have the same look as the Hot Toys one, obviously not, because you know Hot Toys is totally different compared to NECA, but still, this is still great. Uh, the paint's pretty good. It's obviously it's a huge shield. So let me see if I have the, the uh, let me get the NECA one here, or not the NECA one, the Hot Toys one. Actually, I can't get the Hot Toys one, but. There's a difference here. You can see both of them. The uh, Hot Toys one here on the left has that really shiny, metallic look. This one's more more sort of uh, plain, but still cool. The back, the back has that kind of metal look. It's got the straps, which also are very nicely detailed. You can see that there. They don't, they don't unstrap. Uh, the way I put his hand in here, or had him hold the shield, is I, I took off the hand first and then slid his um, arm in here and then just pegged in the hand at the end of this here. So. I think one of the uh, this, yeah one of the straps is, is bigger than this one. This back one is where his his arm goes in, and this uh, front one is where he holds it. You can you you'll be able to tell the difference when you see them. One's obviously um, longer than the other, but that's uh, these are the uh, uh, close look at the accessories he does come with. Let's go ahead and take a, a better look at Captain America. So here's a close look at Cap. Um, the figure actually stands very very well on his own. It's very cool. Uh, do uh, do love. The way the um, the outfit looks, it just looks really, really cool. The head sculpt is pretty nice. Let me see if I can uh, get this to focus here. That's pretty good. You can see the nice, um, nice head sculpt here. Uh, in in a way, if you look up close, it doesn't really look like Chris Evans, but if you back up a bit, it kind of looks like him. But once you're really close to the figure, it doesn't really look like Chris Evans. Uh, the A is uh, sculpted in as are the uh, little wings on the side. Very, very nicely detailed. I mean, it, this they did this really cool. Um, you could tell it's like, uh, it, it looks like it's actual like cloth material, you know, like kind of like how the Hot Toys is, but it obviously isn't. Uh, very nicely um, detailed, man. This is just a great figure. I love how the mask came out. It came out very, very good. Look at the back here, very nice. And the outfit right here is a star it's sculpted in. Great detail in the outfit. Like I said, they did. They paid attention to detail. I mean, they got all this, the stitching, even the wrinkles. Man, they added wrinkles in this. Um, the gloves again. The forearm here, the little. I don't know what you call this pad or wrist, whatever. And uh, here's his belt with all the little pouches. Very cool. Get the shield out of the way. There's the back. There's the back of the uniform. And the boots. The boots is uh is also very nicely detailed. To the bottom here. The pet the the bottom. Um the, the feet do have uh or the bottom of the of the shoes do have um uh peg holes. Very, very cool. Very, very nice figure. They got all the straps and stuff on the boots. They look a little dirty. He's even got zippers you can make out right there on the uh, on the legs and on the uh, lower torso there of the of the front of the suit. A very, very nice figure. Here he is. What he looks like when I have him holding the shield, and he looks like he's pretty poseable. We'll get we'll go over the articulation right now in a second, but just a very, very beautifully. Um, Sculpted figure. The uh, NECA really did a great job with this. Again, I don't normally collect these quarter scale uh, figures, but I mean, it's Captain America. I love Captain America, and since they're going to make all the Avengers, I do plan on picking picking all these bad boys up. Just a fantastic, fantastic figure. Beautifully done. Looks great. I'm going to get him in a crazy pose. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, our, the figure's articulation. It's a little hard to review this figure because he's so, you know, he's so big. Um, let me get the shield off his hand here. We'll go over the articulation as best as I can with the camera. Um, now, we're going to go over the lower part first. He does have, uh, I don't know if he has foot. Yeah, his foot kind of goes up and down, not much. Uh, he's kind of got a little bit of rotation. He does have lower leg rotation. He's got a bend at the knee. His leg has a like a little mid mid leg uh, swivel. The legs do go in and out, 
they go forward and back. It's a little stiff, but they do they do do the job. Um, the arms do go in and out. They go forward and back. He's got a bend uh, at the bicep. Uh, the arms rotate. They go in and out. He's got a waist race. He has waist rotation. The uh, he does have a little bit of a, a ab crunch, upper torso crunch and upper torso articulation. The head can go up and down and rotate and tilt it side to side. So he's got some. He's got some pretty good articulation. Sorry about um, the way I'm showing you the articulation on this guy, but I just don't have the the space to be re reviewing this. It's kind of a large figure, and I'm not used to. Uh, reviewing figures of this uh, size. Let's do a little comparison with him and the Hot Toys. So you can see here the huge size difference between the, the uh, both Captain America from the Avengers, the uh, Hot Toys here on the left, and the Captain America right here on the right. A big, big difference, but both are great in their own ways. I mean, if you can't afford the NECA, I mean, uh, the, the, this Captain America First Avengers Hot Toys is a little pricey. Go for the NECA one, man. Um, I don't know if your guys are a fan of this this scale, but it's a pretty cool figure. And uh, it's uh, I got it for 70 like I said, but um looks like prices on eBay are kind of jumped on this. But this is a very, very, very cool figure, guys. I do highly recommend uh, you guys pick this up if you're a Captain America fan. Comes with a cool shield, comes with two interchangeable hands. Uh, just a very cool figure. Uh, just if you have the space for it, I recommend you pick them up. Nicely done. And uh, the Iron Man one should be, should be legit. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys later.